and there is our finished cannonball as I dropped it on the floor. What's up guys, my name's Jonathan, this is my cannon, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Cannoneer. Now in between our regularly scheduled explosion videos where we're going to be shooting a bunch of cool stuff with our cannon and a bunch of crazy stuff out of our cannon, we're going to be throwing in some informational videos for you guys kind of about how we made the cannon, how the cannon works, how we load our cannon, and things like that. So if that seems like something you might be interested in keeping up with as well as our regularly scheduled explosions, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can keep up with that. Anyway, like I mentioned, we're going to be making cannonballs today and I've got all the materials set up for that over in the shop. So we're going to have to take a quick trip over to the shop and get that set up and I'll meet you guys over there. Now before we can get too far into making our cannonballs, we've got to get our lead melted. So this is our lead melter. Um, you can get these pretty much anywhere that they sell kind of gun things, bullet reloading supplies and stuff like that. Um, and it just melts our lead. We've got our lead melting in there so while that thing's getting hot, um, I'm going to talk about our cannonball mold here. So this is our 38 millimeter cannonball mold. I'll bring it a little closer for you guys to see here. Um, and it works just like this. You put it two halves together and you clamp it together, which I'm gonna do in just a second to show you guys, and we pour our mold, our lead in through the, to the mold right here in this little hole in the top. You let it cool, and you open it up, and there you go, you get yourself a nice new shiny cannonball. Um, so this was made by a guy named Larry Callahan. Um, his website's bagmolds.com. I'll put the link and stuff for his website down in the description. Super awesome company. Um, happy to make these for you kind of things. If you need anything like this, um, this was custom made for us by him. So. When you're ready to use this, you clamp it together, put the two halves together, got two nice little pins to help you line it up. And we put our clamp on it and clamp it together just like so. So it's going to be held together so I don't have to hold this thing. So before we can use it, we've got to preheat this. So I'm gonna go do that right now and then I'll come back to you guys when this is preheated and our lead's nice and melted and we'll make some cannonballs. What's up guys? Now that we're back over here in the shop and we've got our mold preheated, very, very, very important step before you get to doing this, because if your mold's cold, when you try to pour hot lead into it, the mold's instantaneously going to turn all that hot lead into cold lead, and you won't be able to pour it down the hole. So I've got our mold preheated here. Um, I just did this on top of the stove, um, and I've got our lead nice and melted here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this right underneath the little hole, make sure our lead comes out there. It's perfectly ready to go. And we're going to pour our lead in our hole for our mold. And we keep going up until it starts to fill out through the top of that mold a little bit. Do it nice and steady, one smooth go. Almost full, there we go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this cool for a couple of minutes. I'm gonna set it, hold it over here, and it's gonna cool for two or three minutes or so, and then we'll be able to open it up and get our cannonball out. Now we don't have to preheat the mold every single time. Once we heat it up one good time and get it hot, and we keep using it to make uh, more cannonballs with, the heat from that melted lead is going to keep our cannonballs and our cannon, our cannon mold, I should say, not our cannonballs, our cannon mold um, nice and hot so we can use it in between without having to worry about um, our cannonball mold getting cold and the lead freezing up inside of it. So I'm going to set this over here, and I'm going to get some more uh, lead going and getting melted so we can make some more cannonballs. And I'll be back with you guys in just a second when this is cool, and I can open it up and show you guys what a finished cannonball looks like. Okay guys, so our cannonball mold here is pretty much ready to be opened. Um, and when we open this, our cannonball will almost be finished. It's gonna have a little tab that I'll show you guys where the mold was poured it through um, that we're gonna have to remove a little bit later and we'll just throw it back in here and melt it down again. So let's go ahead and open up our clamp and get this cannonball out of the mold. So you gotta kinda gently open it just a little bit. They're incredibly hot, as you can probably tell while I'm wearing these nice thick gloves. And we'll knock it just a little bit to get it open. There it goes. Ooh, that's hot. And there is our finished cannonball as I dropped it on the floor. So this is what they look like. They're incredibly hot. You can see that little tab there. Um, well, I just knocked that off in just a little while. And this is our finished cannonball out of our cannonball mold. So 38 millimeters, incredibly hot, nice little lead cannonball that we're going to be shooting out of our cannon here very shortly for you guys to blow up some really cool stuff with. So let's put this down and make a couple more. Okay guys, for making our second cannonball, we don't have to preheat our mold anymore because it should be nice and hot from our melted lead in the last cannonball that we just made. So we're gonna put the two little tabs back together here, the two little prongs. We're gonna put it down because it's incredibly hot and we're gonna take our clamps and open them back up and clamp this thing together nice and firm 
in the center with that hole facing upward. So we're gonna put this underneath our lead melter here and we're gonna fill our mold with some more lead all the way up to the top. And we should be good right about there. So you can see that lead comes out just a little bit on the top. And now we're gonna set this aside and let it cool and we can make as many of these as we want. Let's get this cannonball unmolded. So first thing we're gonna to have to do is pop our clamp here and we'll open that up. And our mold's gonna be extremely hot. So you can see I'm wearing gloves. So we might have to knock it just a little bit to open it up. And there is our finished, almost finished, cannonball in our mold. So you can see it's got that little stem right there and it just pops right out. And we'll set this aside to cool and make a couple more. So. Next step is to reseal our mold back up. So it's got these two little prongs and spouts at the top. You line the little pegs up with each other. It's really hot, so you gotta be careful with this. So we line the little pegs up just like that. And we're gonna clamp it together with the little spout facing upwards so we can easily pour our lead back in. And clamp it nice and solid there in the middle. If I can get it right there. And clamp it down. We don't have to preheat this anymore because it's nice and warm from our lead that we've been using in here. So let's go ahead and fill up, move our cannonball out of the way here and fill up another cannonball and make another one right there. You can see it right when it comes out the top, we stop. And now we're going to set this aside and let it cool. Well, guys, it looks like we've got a nice little collection of cannonballs to shoot out of the cannon for the next couple of videos. Now, if you enjoyed watching us make those cannonballs, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And if you want to keep up with all of our regularly scheduled explosions and fun stuff like that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I think you guys are going to like it around here. Now, if you've got any questions about the cannon in general, how we loaded or how we made it, um, go ahead and drop those in the comments below and we'll try to answer those for you guys in a future video. Now, once again, my name's Jonathan, these are my cannonballs, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Cannoneer.